Hello everyone, just checking if we've got sound and we'll be with you in about, I don't know, 35, 34, 33 seconds. See you in a bit. This is a public announcement. This is a public announcement. The bubble gummies have been voting. The bubble gummies have chosen. The live making a bubblegum monster tonight is Rockstar Bunny. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another Making a Bubblegum Monster. How's everyone? How has your week end been? Oh, sometimes I still need to is it, yeah, just, yeah. How has your weekend been? Because we used to do this on Friday. I uh, hope everyone's had a good one. I, again, have been sitting in front of the computer, and I wish it was all to do with YouTube, and I could say I've been doing lots of films for YouTube, but unfortunately, it's still all of this work. It's really frustrating. I just want to get it all out of the way so I can just concentrate on YouTube and get because we've got a few you know, we've got ideas, I've got a few films to do, and I just can't. <laughs> right, um, yeah, we, we're, we're thinking about having a bit of a change to the makeup of tonight, aren't we? Yeah, just slightly. Yeah, just only a slight change. We're still going to be making rock, rock star body. Yeah. But we're going to sort of show you what else is involved in making rock star body. Yeah. It may go wrong for it a number of reasons. One yeah. one reason, actually, uh, for warning at the moment, is that we've had a lot of snow here in the UK, and we had a power cut in the house. This house seems to have a lot of power cuts. It might be just because my yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the work on here. <laughs> but um, it had a power cut for about an hour and a half. So if that happens, in fact, it has happened on it. One of our last it has happened on it. One of our streets, so sure, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, we're, we're that we, that was what would have happened if it suddenly disappeared. That's why. Um, and the other one is uh, I'm using another piece of software that is prone to crashing quite a lot so that also can happen when I'm trying to render the stuff out but what we thought we'd do with this Rockstar Rockstar uh, I can't speak Rocks do you know what I was in the petrol garage earlier and I had to pay by my card and I literally I couldn't remember my number and I, like, I was sitting there well, that would have been weird wouldn't it <laughs> just, <laughs> just sitting there <laughs> I don't know yeah. just sitting there and he was like why, why are you sitting down I don't know I can't even remember my number um, and I had to yeah pay by card and I, was, I literally had a complete blank and I went I know I used my other card and then because I had part the number of one card then I had to part the other number I couldn't remember either of them so I, just, I had to keep letting people go I, just, like, I stood there for about 10 minutes trying to remember and then suddenly just yeah that's it I got it right um, and anyway so my point was going back completely to what I was trying to say is uh, God, <laughs> as a, I I can't remember. Remember. well well scrap money. no no we got important though oh yes because of real FNAF we're doing real FNAF and we've been doing the things where we put them into the locations that was yeah. the idea what, yeah. what we're trying to get to so we're going to make Bonnie uh, Rockstar Rockstar Bonnie but because he's got a very sim similar body to Bonnie we've kind of already got that so what I'm planning on doing is just doing his head putting that onto the one we've already got and then we're going to try and put it into a location that Stuart has shot when he's been up in London yes which is Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar yeah. Square. Um, and so we're going to try and do that on this other piece of software, which may go wrong because it, it just tends to. It's called Maya. It crashes a lot. 
Um, so hopefully that won't happen. Um, and also, I'm not sure if we can actually show the render because I can't seem to show it on OBS. It doesn't seem to come up, pop up in the windows to select. But anyway, we're just you know we're just go with the um, go with the flow. Go with the flow. So we'll see what happens. Okay, right. Um, let's do the, uh, the, the the shout outs here as well. We we got a lot of the regulars in, so thank you very much for the regulars who are joining us yet again. Um, there's some new names in here as there was a couple of comments. Um, Michael Afton, you use Blender to make models. No, we don't. We use ZBrush to actually sculpt the models. We use Maya to yeah. animate rig and texture. texture and all the rest of it. Yeah. And then it's actually Arnold to ren render, isn't it? Arnold, yeah. yeah. And, so, um, and yeah, well, w William Afton, he makes the animatronics. Yeah. Michael Afton. Oh, is it Michael? Michael Afton. Oh, it's his son. Well, I, don't yes. know. I, don't, yeah, I don't know what Michael does. He just generally um, gets killed, doesn't he? Uh, da, 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 da. Right, so Rockstar Bonnie was chosen by you guys. Um, it was in the vote. We had 3.7 thousand yep. votes this time, so nice one. Thank you very much. Uh, and we would like your suggestions for the next live Making the Bubblegum Monster, and I will put them up ready for the vote later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, over to you. Let's see where, where we go. Um, okay, well, so uh, did you want to just mention the, the merch? Uh, no, no. Um, right. What we do is, I tell you what would be nice. The because um, we've got a couple of we've got the, the one of Bowser there, haven't we? All oh, right, let me go to that then. Let me go to ZBrush or ZBrush if you're in America. And so yeah, this was so anyone that's joining us. I know this. Sorry for the people that join us regularly. This might be a bit of a repetitive thing and a bit boring for you. But anyone that's joining us for the first time, so we sculpt a character chosen by you guys, which is then the vote in the community tab. There it is. And so by doing that, then we sculpt it. And this was actually we're a bit of a backlog. This was a few weeks ago. This was Bowser, which was the winner of that particular um, selection of votes. And this was won because later on, so this is why you've got to stay tuned. Because later on, near the end, what we will do is we have a little game we play, which is called Family Fortunes, or if in America, Family Feuds. I'm not sure if it's in any other country. I'm sure they do similar things, where we have a top. Um, it's a question is it five five top answers you have to get the top answer top answer yeah so we'll ask a question yeah so it could be for example something you'd find in a toolbox yeah and then then you know if it's hammer it was the top answer you say hammer first of all then you win the uh, that sculpt you don't actually win it as a physical thing but what we do is we take the render that I'll be doing and I will um, put it up on the banner on our YouTube banner with your name underneath, and you'll also receive, which we've got an example of, the um, the yeah the rusty rocket render on OBS. Oh yeah, hang on a sec. Yeah, we go back. To so that. I forgot where I put it. Uh, oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. Hang on. It's all right. Stuart will entertain you with a there dance. There we go. Yeah. So well, I hope dance. Yeah. I'm, I'm, actually, we're just going to see if any suggestions are coming. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding. One of the uh, images for one of the sculpts we did um, for Rusty Rocket, who is one of our regulars, isn't he? I think. Uh, yeah, Rusty Rocket he, uh, contributes to the gallery and he, he joins in on our live streams. There we go. So that's what you receive. So but you obviously, receive... it won't be Batman. No, it won't be Batman. It'll be the uh, the model of, of that week, the one you, where you win it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and that's that's emailed. That's a, a JPEG which is sent to you. So you can print it out, make a poster of it, use it as a screensaver, whatever you see fit. I've actually we got um, a message the other day actually of um, someone who's used one of our real FNAF as a mobile phone oh, okay. uh, screensaver. That was a thing. So um, go back to ZBrush. Right. So yeah, this was Bowser. This was um, one by Kian or Rebecca Pearson, who's our moderator. Is she in today? She is mo moderating. Oh, yeah. And it's her son um, who won this. So that's uh, cool. We've and got our we've got first send of a poster as well. We do, yes. Uh, we've got our first suggestion, Rockstar Freddy. Okay, Rockstar, we're going to have the whole band. Yeah. So right, so Rockstar. let me get okay. on with what I'm meant to be doing. They're from FNAF 6, aren't they? I think so, yeah. Oh. I haven't played it. Um, Rockstar Freddy. Yes. So there we go. So we're going to start fresh. Um, so for the. Th 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 that was meant to be a word. It didn't come out right. So, um, for those who don't know who Rockstar Bunny looks like or what he looks like, 
There he is. Um, so we're going to be just doing his head because I already have his body pretty much set up ready with his guitar, although it's all kind of stolen from the original Bonnie. So it might not. So there might be a few little bits that aren't quite right. But we 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 wanted to sort of get as much of it made pre-made so that we could show you guys um, how we sort of put these things in the real scene. Right, so I'm going to start like I do, as uh, most people know who are regular, I start by making a sphere, if I can even find, things might go wrong today, but because my brain, well I say this every week, my brain just doesn't yeah. work recently. It, it has been a long couple of weeks for, yeah. for us all. Um, I had another suggestion come in, which is brilliant, and actually said that this one's actually for me, and that's actually Smaug, the Smaug, Smaug, Smaug. Smaug. More. The um, oh. goalkeeping dragon from Lord of the Rings. Uh, from, from, it's not actually it's from Hobbit. Oh, it's I, thought from said, Hobbit. I, I thought you said goalkeeping. Goldkeeping dragon Gold, from yeah. Hobbit. Yeah. I was like, what is I know we did. We did warn you that, uh, unfortunately, that we may have technical difficulties today. The snow and the cold are appearing to affect internet as well. So, let's hope that it 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 yeah. stays stays on. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. It's beyond our control. Um, Rebecca, thanks for trying to keep hold of everything. Um, and people who are being rude to Rebecca because she couldn't fix it and I think that's really <laughs> really unfair and um, as Rebecca quietly rightly says she's not being paid to do this uh, she does it at the kindness of her own heart well she's not um, getting those 500 pounds yet and she's got no control over the live stream if it, unfortunately if data drops out we are scuppered um, Yes, Lewis Rankmore. What about Smaug the Dragon from Hobbit? Yep, that's uh, one of the suggestions, and it's in there. So at the moment, we've got Rockstar Freddy from FNAF 6 and Smaug or Smaug the Goldkeeping Dragon from Hobbit. Goldkeeping. So, <laughs> Goldkeeping gold, gold from Thing. Uh, the voice is quite laggy, to be honest. Uh, Fortunately, we are. In the in the hands of the data gods, aren't we? Yeah. We can't do anything about that at the moment. I'm wondering um, if, uh, yeah, no, I don't know if it's uh, it should be sound right. So I just hollowed out his eyes. I know it doesn't really look like him. It looks kind of like a. What's that? That's like another character I'm thinking of. I can't think who. Anyway. So I'm just trying to work out how big his eyes are for the rest of his face. So let's make his muzzle, 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 muzzle. Is a muzzle? Yeah, muzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make that. Oh, his nosy bit. <laughs> so to do that, I'm going to use a box. I'm going to start with a box this time, not a sphere. So let's select a box. Here goes a box. what we have to do is we have to say we have to set our first bit which was that and we have to tell it to add the box onto that by pending it like that a bit big scale it down good it's kind of it's quite boxy rock star body a boxy character Okay, so I'm on that, I guess. Um, extend that. So is the stream good now? Yeah, I believe the stream's good, yeah. I'm, I'm just concentrating to make sure it's it's all um, back up and running. So sorry about that, guys. Um, as I said, beyond our control. Dynamish again. Dynamish. Dynamish is, if anyone's wondering, it's just kind of a way of... It's hard to explain if... You don't model in 3D, but it's kind of a way of turning what 
is quite hard to use with these square polygon things. Turn it into almost like a clay-like way of modeling, which is just a lot more easier. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that probably doesn't make some sense to 99% of the population. So yeah, I can sort of bend it around a little bit easier now without it all stretching. Because when you when you're modeling in what are called polygons, you're sort of just restricted to the size of they're all like imagine like if you create a cylinder and it's only got like seven uh, eight sides, it's quite sort of like sharp edged. The more you add, the more of these polygons, the more rounder it gets. Yeah. But if you turn pull out an edge, it's stretching some of those polygons, so they become jagged. Whereas this way of doing it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll show you here. Because it was there, do you mean light? See, these are polygons, you see all these squares. If I start stretching, I can probably get away with quite a bit because there's quite a lot of these polygons here. But they start getting stretched, which in the end starts to tear. You start to get this weird. I'll keep going, hang on. There you go, see? Yeah. So that isn't good, right? But if you, with this dynamish, you can just go like this and it adds all the squares back in, evens it all out. So it's kind of like you're never losing that resolution. But anyway, sorry, that's a bit technical. I'll try to avoid those sort of things because it's a bit boring for most people. <laughs> right, so yeah, this is going to use muzzle. If I can shape it. It's worth pointing out, actually, that you don't have to use ZBrush to model. I just like it because, in fact, for some things, it's actually faster to model, and I know a lot of people use things like Blender, um, which is a free package, 3D package. Um, so if you feel like you want to model in something like that, then that's that's fine too. ZBrush is just very good at especially sort of organic things, the characters. And obviously, even though these are characters, they're quite robotic because they're animatronics. And for those sort of things, it's actually sometimes faster to, to model them in things like Blender. Far his nose sticks out. I'm trying to work out if he's got. I think his eyes actually kind of maybe have a little sort of bit of a bulge on them, kind of like an eyebrow, kind of a brow area. I don't know. It looks like it to me. I can't quite tell. So I'm just trying to kind of like that. But it's hard to tell without a front view. I don't know if there's any front views. I said we've always said this about references, isn't it? And plus, even these characters, their interpretation, they're not exactly Scott Cawthorn's creation. No. They're an adaptation of someone else's opinion of yeah. the, 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 um, yeah. the creation. Yeah. yeah, the references, anyway. Um, right, okie dokie. So we've got we're two suggestions in. We've got Rockstar Freddy from FNAF 6 and Smog the Gold Keeping Dragon from The Hobbit. Right. So... Um, uh, his nose doesn't stick out that much. No. Kind get, of like Freddy. Yeah, I'll get. Yeah, you're right, it's way out, isn't it, there? Um, let's do that now, then. So, kind of like that, I'd imagine. Oh, hang on, we're back. Yeah. Maybe a bit more on. Maybe like that. Thanks for pointing that out. That is the. Um, uh, oh, Long Bree 1. Thank you very much. You joined us uh, tonight. We've we're a bit shaky because we've had so many technical problems and, and bits and pieces go wrong um, due to the weather. I don't know if I know Rebecca's in the UK or anyone else in here is in the UK, but it's been really, really, really cold, and that's affected mobile phone towers and towers and things, and that's why. And uh, so yes, we're having a little bit of a problem. And we had a power cut as well before we came on. Yeah. So. Um, Lots of things. Um, right, okie dokie. Um, so because I'm uh, so I've joined these uh, together. Uh, now, can, you? Um, can you do Johnny Sexton from rugby? Well, he's a real person, isn't he? Yeah. And um, I think we try and avoid the real person. We did Donald Trump as a character. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we can do him. Um, Let's put him in the boat. Yeah, yeah put let's him put him in the boat. So, what was his name? Um, Johnny Sexton from rugby. Well, who's he play for? Uh, Johnny Sexton. Oh, he's nice. Irish rugby player. 
Um, da, 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 da. So I kind of guess he's the. Oh, he's rugby union. He plays for Le- Leinster and Ireland. Right, but we'll put in John Jonathan Sexton. Jonathan Sexton. Extract. So I'm just making these nose now. So what I've done is I've masked it out, which is just like this black area here. And then there's this tool here we can extract and it will create like a new bit of mesh. Uh, let me just create a bit thicker. Just the thickness so you get a bit more. Okay, that's not really working very well. That's in the, uh, in the thing. I'll check that bit. Oh, can't wait for the screen. Oh, turn it yeah. And then good polish it. We've got, oh, Auntie Celeste is in the room. Um, hey, Asriel yes. from uh, Asriel from Undertale. Oh yeah. Look at that one. So I'm just yeah, just making his nose. Sorry, I'm I'm not very good at the chatting bit when I'm doing this. I think I've explained that before, but uh, if anyone new in the room wonder why I'm not talking, it's because I can't when I'm doing other things. My brain works in only one way. I can't multitask. So yeah, he's got kind of squarish, squarish nose, I think, something like that. And then obviously he's got this bit. Actually, let's just extend that out a bit on his nose. Nose. Yeah, he's got his nose now. Yeah. Right, let's check Azrael from uh, Azrael, Azrael from Undertale. There we go. Actually, what I do is I think that's all a little bit is a bit long. So what we'll do is we'll just um, just make that a bit shorter by masking off the top part and just going like that. Is not quite as long. There you go, Azrael from Undertale. So be one more option, one more uh, suggestion. Um, Better save. Happy Frog or Orville so Elephant? Pepsi save. Man. What's Pepsi Man? Pepsi Man. It sounds. Interesting, Pepsi man. Oh, it, it's very similar. Do you remember we did that Ultraman? Or is it Ultraman we did? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a bit bit too similar to to to, to that to do um, Pepsi man. What was the other one? Uh, what's the other one? There was a suggestion. Was that all all the elephant or something? Orville the Elephant? Orville Elephant, yeah. Orville Elephant. Elephant. Oh yeah, no, that's alright. That's that's a good one. Because he's a bit like a... Um, yeah. Is, is he actually... Yeah, where, where's... Orville Elephant from uh, who, who suggested it? It was um, Springholic. Who's Orville Elephant? Uh, La- Lam Orak, can you do a xenomorph? We have we have tried we have had um, uh, aliens in the in the in the votes before, so it will probably just have well it will come around again. So just keep that um, t- to mind. G Vlogs 200, am I able to win a family fortune today? Because he obviously won it last time. Um, yeah, I, I can't see why not. It's it's the first first one with the correct answer, really. Um, in the past, people who have won it have, can still play along, but they've given it, handed it over, haven't they? Yeah. So, you know, which is always a, a very gracious thing to do um, to the second person who, who may have got it. Um, Motion Panda, how do you do? Vovensar. Saranin, uh, Lil Everything. Um, if you want a proper shout out, Lil Everything, remember to go to our gallery and ask for one in the comments section. 
and just ask. Please give him a shout out. Um, yeah, vintage raspberry. Did you? What did you suggest? Vintage that's raspberry. Uh, that is a, that's a cool name actually. Uh, Kings Nation asks: Is Zed Brush free? Uh, I think there might be a trial version, but no, it's not free. It's okay. it's uh, you, you know it's about eight hundred pounds or something. It's not it's not cheap. However, there is a free similar bit of software that they do on their site, Pixel Logic do on their site, called Sculptress, which is free, and it's for the Mac and PC. And you've got it in the description, haven't you? I have. Yep, yeah, that's that's in the um, in the description below, so you can uh, check it all out there. And uh, Rebecca's already on that. Um, Sculptress is free from thing. Um, uh, yes, you can. Um, G Vlogs two hundred. Um, why not? It's if he wins, can he give it to his sister? Yeah, I can't see why yeah, not. That. Yeah, you can dedicate. It you to can her dedicate anymore. it to her. Um, Molten Freddy. Um, the best way of doing this. I can't. I can't find vintage uh, Raspberry's other suggestion. But it, whoever, um, uh, why does his snout look like a chewy sweet? Because <laughs> what the colour? Oh. Or. Uh, that, 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 or as in just enjoy because it does look a bit like a chewy sweet to be honest yeah um, yeah that was you can guess that who that was from uh, no who? could you not no oh right that was that was Celeste oh really yeah um, uh, da, 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 da. I do like chewy sweets uh, just trying to, I'm just trying to f find a, 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 a trend of um, this is gonna be a draw of conversation. Um, do Donamish? Let's see, but I can't, I can't see the the, the, the trends here. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. There was a I'm trying to find what the suggestions were. Oh, uh, my suggestion was Yoda. We've had Yoda. We have um, Yoda. What's head crab from Half Life? It's a crab thing that is on your head. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Head crab Half Life. It's a bit well, a bit like a, um, yeah, like a face hugger. a face hugger. Yeah. Yeah, I've d I, I, the other the other option which was going to go in was Orville Elephant. I just wanted to know where Orville Elephant came from, not Orville the Elephant. Um, Saint Castle Entertainment. Hello, hello, hello. to you too. Um, great girl, MSP. This is my first stream. Hey. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And I hope you enjoy it. We have had a bit of up and down today, haven't we, with the with the whole yep. technical side of things. So we are a little bit thrown and things aren't quite as fluid as we would have liked them not that we're always very fluid anyway no, we're very fluid people no. are we really um, I'd say what G Vlogs let's see if you win it before you have to make any suggestions I think that's that's uh, we've got a family fortunes question coming up or family feuds questions coming up at 10 to 6 and um, oh, sorry it's 10, 10 to 7 so, uh, and that will be the winner of um, the render of this. I'm not sure if it's quite right. I think it's like muzzle bit needs to be smaller. It kind of looks that too any, wide. That one any good very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we've got the family fortunes question yeah. ready, or family feuds question ready to ask um, at 10 to 6. Right. Um, okay. So it's still there's still been no answer on uh, Orville Elephant. Let's, let's go Orville Elephant here. Orville Elephant. Uh, is a buyable entertainer, which is strangely from rare finds auctions of mid-sized animatronics, similar to Mr. Hippo. He's a f from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Oh, okay, I haven't really okay. played that. So we'll, we'll stick that in a suggestion because that was the first one I'd received. Oh, this could be quite an interesting one because we've got two. Yeah, yeah. 
Two uh, FNAF ones. FNAF captors, yeah. Uh, elephant. Because <laughs> we did actually say that we were going to do a FNAF one this week. I know. We thought we'd give, give everything else in life a chance. From Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simile, Simulator. Um, from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. There you go. Right, so we've got the five suggestions. Rockstar Freddy from Fast 6, Smog, Smaug, the Gold Keeping Dragon from The Hobbit, um, Jonathan Sexton, an Irish rugby player, Azrael from Undertale, and finally Orville Elephant. And they will be the next five on for the vote for next week. Um right, let's put his cheeks in. Guys who suggested things, we do this every week. So if you've got suggestions or we didn't pick your suggestions this time round, um, please join us next week and we will do it do it again. Um, to join the Bubblegummies Play Minecraft Discord server, click this link. Yeah, because I I haven't checked out the Discord server yet for, for, for us, but which is something else Rebecca very kindly looks after for us. Um, So he's got his cheeks kind of like that. See again, I look once I look up from the the, the my PC, it's it's surprising. Um, how it comes on? Yeah, how sort of far advanced you keep getting. Well, I'm trying to hurry through it, so it's probably not going to look exactly like him because I want to just um, show the guys how we do the the real FNAF stuff when we place it into the scene. So I'm just kind of just laying out his head roughly and then I'll get on and quickly stick it into the uh, the old scene and see what we get um, let me just double check that again a little bit more a little bit more resolution can you alter it halfway through like with, with the Z brush so if you set it at 128 you can yeah. then set it 326 yeah all right and what are the disadvantages with having a higher resolution? Why do you always model it? Because it's then you're, you've got more tiny squares to move around, so it becomes harder to get blanket kind of uh, sweeping kind of movements. Right. Because it's all a little bit more intricate. So it's better to get your main bulky shapes done, and then you can start adding in all your sort of finer details afterwards. Bubblegum says, will you make a f real FNAF 2 or 3? Yeah. Yes. When I've finished all of the work I'm doing over this next few weeks, I really want to start cracking down and finishing off some scripts. And we, yeah, uh, it's just, uh, it's it's really frustrating because the channel's really sort of had new life with the whole FNAF thing. And we've been promising FNAF for a long time, the, the sequels, and it just seems like it's the perfect time to be doing it. And right now, I just haven't got the time. Which is really frustrating. One day this will be our day job. Oh yeah, that would be good. Starting to starting to hope so. Um, Pool TV, graffiti and gaming. Hello. Hello, Hello to you. Thank you for joining us. That's a new name. I uh, don't. That doesn't bounce across my memory banks. Um, I couldn't even pronounce this one. One seven six Yixi Satsamanikuzi, but however you did that on the old uh, with your thing, the smiley, it's really quite cool in the chat. Anyway, um, Aidan Vincer, thank you to think. Um, Vintage Raspberry Stuart, I'm Sinkum. Course Sinkum, you keep changing your name. So Vintage Raspberry is Sinkum. Um, Scarbin77, what program is this? This is ZBrush, or ZBrush, and it's really good at sculpting in a, in a computer. So essentially a lot of the 3D characters we use in now, <coughs> bless you, a lot of the 3D characters we use in the um, uh, our films and, and, and stuff will be modelled on ZBrush. Yeah. Um, what's that coming up the hill? 
Is it a monster, a bubblegum monster? Yeah, that's quite cool. I like that play on that line. So yeah. Castle Entertainment, thank you very much. I remember that song to you as well. Yeah, I remember that. It's quite a lot. That's got an old song now. Yeah, it's 2000 and something, 2002 or something. Um, unfortunately, I I believe that is either Portuguese um, or Spanish. I, either way, I, I I don't speak it, which is a real shame. That we, but Rebecca's normally quite good at translating. Yeah, Rebecca stuff. Spanish can speak Spanish. She's fluent in Portuguese, Spanish, everything. And, and Arabic and. Um, uh, Do you know what I, I actually think? Um, Rebecca's a robot. Yeah, I do. Maybe she's she's an animatronic. Um, HJY, hello boys, you rock. Thank you very much. Thank you. You rock too. We all rock. Everyone rocks. And we're we're doing uh, rock star Bonnie, so there you go. Definitely a rock star day. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna now. What we've got here, I'm gonna put into mine now because we're running out of time. And I wanted to show the guys kind of how, well, hopefully what it will look like in mine. So let's just quickly export this stuff out. Well, actually, first of all, let's save it. Yeah. Save. And then I'll just export what we've got out and see if we can, the problem is I don't know if I can show them the render screen. But what we could do is do a render and then put it up. Or we'll yeah. What we're seeing, hopefully. So this is a jaw. So I've got, this is a boring bit. I've just got to quickly export all the separate bits out. Um, it shouldn't take too long, though. Bonnie, Bonnie Fan two one two. Um, we have actually answered that we are trying to do a second FNAF movie, whether it's a FNAF two, three, or four, Jeez. or a, what, uh, maybe we even thought about another joy of creation. We've got loads of ideas. Problem is, it's it's time. At the end of the day, we are so dependent on our day jobs that to actually dedicate time. Yeah. I mean, to maybe, our projects. maybe we could. On the net, have a few different ideas, and we'll put them up on the boat on the community and whoever what they sort of go with. Yeah, there's always there's always things like that. Yeah, it's always worth following our community tab. Um, if you don't know how to find it, just click on the card above, and um, that will take you to our community tab. And of course, where you get to vote on this week's making a live bubblegum monster. So the five suggestions are like a quick recap: is Rockstar Freddy from Flash Six, Smog Smaug is the gold keeping dragon from The Hobbit. Jonathan Sexton, who is an Irish rugby player, Azrael from Undertale, and Orville the Elephants from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. Simulator, yes. There you go. Oh. Uh, can you do a withered bonnie? Um, that's Paul T. V. Graffiti. Um, it's it's worth making a suggestion. Uh, obviously, the the suggestions are in for this week, but it's yeah. worth joining us again next week and see if it makes the, the hit list um, so here I've got um, in the background Trafalgar Square which is a photo you took wasn't it yes yes and it. then this is lit so this is where it's kind of what people, that's was, what people are saying ok that's cool yeah um, so yeah what ooh, get rid of that man. so what um, what it's lit by is this if I zoom right out you can see this sphere and this was taken by Stuart we got this special camera in fact actually that's me ducking down behind the wall there oh, where I? oh, oh sorry about it we can always show it another time special camera yeah I just thought it was there but it's not I don't know where it is um, and it's just like a little it's got two spheres on it which means it can take a 360 degree picture of um, of what's around you so you can almost you can actually see the tripod Underneath, which is mad. I don't know what that bit of paper is, though. Oh, no, it's not a bit of paper. Plaque, that's that's the plaque, yeah. That's what um, and so, what the computer does is it takes all this information and it can then use it to uh, create the reflections on your object and it also uses it to light the object as well. So, that's why it really looks like it's lit, like it was there. And uh, so, this is the kind of position I put Bonnie in. But if we look, actually, I'll get to that. Where's he gone? If we look at him, he's got no head. So I'm hoping what I can quickly do, and this is going to be very rushed, but I'm hoping I can just quickly import what we've just been modelling and um, 
create uh, a sort of like quick real FNAF thingy. What were you going to say? That's right. Now I'm just I was just watching what you're you're doing. Just so if I go to where is it? Um, so I'm just trying to find the models. What did I call it? it was Rockstar, right? Uh, element of EQ. Yeah, what? it's under what? Did you put it under under a folder though? Um, yeah, it's usually under here. Sorry. Let me just see where I've been saving this out. I can't find it now. Stuart will entertain you with his dance. <laughs> so it's Monster under, Maker. Yeah, that's where I am, I think. Let me have a look. Oh, I know why. It's right, I'm under the old folder. Go to the new one with all the new monsters in it. There you go, yeah. Right, okay. So, yeah, there he is. Right. So first of all, let's put his head in. It might not come in at the right size. Let's see where it is. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Down there. Oh. Hang on. That's annoying. So actually, when you if you're going to animate this properly, you would have to go for a different step, where you'd do what's called retopologize. What we apologise is, is basically, you know, where earlier, if, I don't know who's still in listening from earlier, but where you've got simpler polygons and the flow of the face and stuff is basically what we apologise is. You take all these really complex um, polygons and you kind of skin a new version over the top that is a lot more simplified because you don't really need all of those polygons to make that shape. But for sculpting, it's kind of handy because obviously you're twisting and bending things around. But when you're animating, you don't want to have uh, loads and loads of these polygons because it just slows everything down. So for now though, because this is just for demonstration purposes, we're going to just go with what we've got. Um, so let me just go his head down and kind of plonk it in the right place. So he's already got his eyes in place. I've no idea if it's all going to fit together properly because uh, I kind of just, like I say, just made it up as I went along. Let's we'll see if that's kind of right. He, he needs some eyes as well, and um, sorry, eyelids. But I guess you know that would do for now. It's kind of it's kind of in the right place. Fred double one double one. Yeah, we've already done the the, the pickings. Uh, you're in time for the um, family fortunes question though. But the five options today are Rockstar Freddy, Smog, Jonathan Sexton, Azrael, and Orville Elephant. And um, they will be available to vote on after our stream. And we'll put the votes up. Um, but you join us again next week at 6 p.m. GMT and jump in with your suggestion of blue fighting the in Indoraptor. Oh, that'd be cool. Yes, so that, that'd be quite and good. That's going to happen, isn't it? What's that? Blue fighting the Indoraptor. Mm. Indoraptor. Oh, it's a jaw. Oh, uh, do you know, I was just thinking, well, what, what's, what's the? It looks like one of those that ruffle thing he did like on it. Oh, right, I, mean, yeah. I was thinking, well, what happens is the pony's got one of them. Yeah, I just saw the bow tie there already. Um, shall I ask the question while you're just summing things yeah. up a little bit? Okay, so our family fortunes question for this week is. It's the first correct answer on the top answer on this card. Are you ready? Name something kids really like about school. Name something kids really like about school. So I, I, I've got an answer for that. I, but I can't really, can I say it? No, because no. of the delay. No, but I, I know what the real answer oh, is. Oh, I see. Oh, right. real answer. oh, oh, oh another right. Another one, what I think what people might say. Um, oh, I can't think that. I'll wait. Wait until some of the answers coming yeah. through, yeah. Um, because I know what my what my answer would have been when I was at school. Oh, Auntie Celeste is straight in. First answer. Really? Yeah. And it's followed by uh, Fred Double One Double One. Close, close second. And Vintage Raspberry or Sinkum. Um, it was an, another close one. But yeah, it was break time or play time. Um, so well done, Auntie Celeste. Um, you were straight in with that. So uh, let me write that down in my little notebook. 
um, that Auntie Celeste is the winner of Rockstar Bonnie. So, because we, we, we had to try and remember them all last time. Do you remember? Was people were help prompting us on who who was doing what and when. There we go. Um, so Auntie Celeste, Celeste, and that was um, Rockstar Bonnie. Yeah, well done. Hey, congratulations. Okay. Yeah, Michael Afton, there's nothing kids like about school. <laughs> well, I was going to say... Going home. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, there was, there was quite a few going homes. Um, yes, recess is the same thing, cash plan. But, as far as I can tell, the first answer ca- coming from was from Celeste. And it said break time. Um, free time came in next as well. Break time, recess. Yeah, you was, you did come in with recess. Just Rebecca, um, Rebecca Celeste picked you to the post. She came in um, very very quickly with break time or play time. Um, uh, I don't think so. G vlogs. Unfortunately, you didn't say it first. Auntie Celeste was the first one. It was the first. It was the first answer we got. It was the right answer. Um, and if you want to f- refer back to the chat, um, it was Rebecca was talking to Cash Plan. Um, then Paul TV Graffiti Gaming had uh, the message deleted. Anti Celeste came in with break time. And then Stefan Gamer had a message deleted. The deleted messages had nothing to do with the question. They were spam and capital letters. So no vlogs you did not make it unfortunately not this time Celeste is the uh, the winner and the bubblegum monsters decision is final and Rebecca can always verify that as well um, so I'm just rushing through this at the moment because we've run out of time we've only got like five six minutes left or something so I'm just trying to get his teeth in or something that looks kind of like his teeth um, I know he's head isn't quite right at the moment the proportion stuff but again we just want to show you how we superimpose the sort of characters into into real photos for our real FNAF series that we we're, we're doing so this is going to be his teeth in fact what I do is I'll just do one side for now and then uh, I'll do the other side in a second because the good thing with computers is you can just mirror stuff and not have to model both sides. So you just model one side and then you just use a special mirror tool and it magically mirrors everything across for you. I'm just saving it because I know what it's uh, like. This is Maya who you're now over in. Yeah, basically yeah. it's such an unreliable package. <laughs> it just crashes all the time. So I'm just kind of, just very quickly chucking his teeth in here they're not they're not sitting right at all but at least he's got some teeth you know for chewing on children's heads and things like, like they do um it looks like he needs to go to the dentist but anyway that's... Z29 how do you do well thank you very much for joining us again I know you regularly contribute to the um uh gallery um and to our live streams we are just finishing off though Z29 we we stream from 6 p.m. GMT um, yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this hopefully mirror mirror on the wall where are you oh there you are there you go so it's kind of like these teeth are a bit wide apart there but they left that front too yeah anyway. I suppose you, it's where you put the axes is it or, or yeah I haven't really said yeah. it's bottom jaw I don't think set up properly either so it's all it's all a bit squiff and that's what you get when you're rushing for it doesn't really look like him at all actually so yeah I need to work on this but just again just this is a new character maybe maybe we call this Rockstar um I don't know Busty <laughs> the Rabbit Busted the Rabbit because he's a bit busted doesn't really look like Bonnie ah oh, come on Sweet. okay uh, he's got these little metal mechanical things on the side there, but I'm not going to bother with that. I just wanted to show you, like I say, I want to show you guys how we do it. So I'm just going to add some textures to him to match the rest of his blue colouring. 
and he's got some sort of pinkish cheeks. So I have to make a new texture for that, so I'll just call it pink. So pink. That'll do. And make a pink colour. That's kind of more of a red pink in it. That'll do. Oh that's the other handy thing with Maya. Sometimes you um text or something but it still stays a plain colour so you don't actually know if it's the right colour until you do the next object and then it goes oh, right. and then it gets it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an atrocious piece of software but anyway uh, we have to use it unfortunately uh, right just his nose needs to be black black nose. for those who just joined us with the Five suggestions for next week are Rockstar Freddy from FNAF 6, Smog, the gold keeping dragon from The Hobbit, which is my favourite, um, Jonathan Sexton, who's a rugged player for Ireland, um, Azrael from Undertale, and Orville Elephant from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. Um, and he has actually got, let's see if I can do this very, very quickly, but he has actually got um, eyelids. So let me quickly go to the right here. Start with a sphere, delete half of it like that, and we'll just stick them in like that. So, uh, oh, come on. So this is why I prefer ZBrush because it's not. It just feels very clunky when you're using this software compared to using ZBrush. ZBrush feels like when you get some clay out or painting in real life, it just feels really natural. Whereas I just find with traditional 3D software, it's just really clunky and just slow. Anyway, this is gonna be his eyelid. So here we go, we just put that in like that. That's one <laughs> hell of an eyelid. Yeah. That's um, like Cyclops. Yeah. Serena Rose, hello, I just got out of school. That's a nice name. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to work out if you just got out of school, where roughly would you be in the world? Seven o'clock She might now. have had a three hour detention. She's in the UK. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she lives in the UK. Um, oh, she could have an after school club as well, to be honest, couldn't you? You don't know what's the thing. Um, uh, you, uh, Foxy Games, you look like Scott making animal. Okay. I think Teddy is my favourite. Oh, oh, Cashpan is saying he thinks that the Teddy is his favourite um, piece of merchandise. Obviously, he knows our shop well. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's a shame we can't do the actual little animatronics, isn't it? It'd be wicked. Uh, oh, I'm not yeah, going to pose him up because I just haven't got the time. But that would mean that would mean you set these controllers here. This was originally from the this this is Bonnie from the original FNAF film, um, and so it's already I've already rigged it up, which is rigging is like like a puppeteer when you add strings to your to your puppet, so you can sort of move him around. So here we go. I'm sort of, I think he's all a bit broken actually. Let's just hide all that nonsense that's in there. Let's get in the way. So anyway, yeah, he's plucking away on his guitar. There we go. I think we should put him in a little busker basket for people walking past. Well, there's a lot of busking goes on in um, Trafalgar Square. Um... Give me some money. Oh, sorry trying to find where the controller is for that one. Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, Cashpan says, are there any straps which go round his neck? Or why aren't there any straps which, on the guitar which go oh, round right. his neck? Because I haven't had time. Yes. I haven't had time to do it. This, this was just meant to be a bit of a demonstration on what, how, once we've modelled the characters and had the photos taken and then yeah, we thought it'd just be a bit of a. Yeah, you may not know what we're it. talking about though. Like, you might not have seen the real FNAF stuff that we do. 
Oh this? yes, Cash Pan has. Oh, he has. Yeah, oh yes, Cash Pan's a big fan. Okay, cool. Um, it, but yeah, it's just just saying. It, all, all, all we're doing is just trying to show you that some of the, the process um, we we go through for, just to create or just to, to for Peter to be able to do this. Right. So okay, he's basically set up. Let's say. And then what I need to do now. This is where I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this, which is a real shame. I'd have to see. Let's so let's see. I've got render. So I've got to do this magic button here, which is a render screen. It comes up, but I don't know. It looks quite really scary actually. Um, let's see. Actually, you might be able to see him like that though. Um, let's have a look. It'll come up in in a second. Yes, you can. You can see him. Yay! Okay. So that's kind of what he look like. Though obviously, he looks kind of weird. He's got his eyes are definitely too big. I need to adjust a lot of stuff on that. Um, let me see if I can. Let me that. Can you see it now? Um, no. No, but as it says, Bonnie. As his and it says, Bonnie, give me all your money. Um, go get a job and get your own money, <laughs> Barney. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, and that's how I ended up working at Fads Bear Pizzas. Uh, <laughs> isn't it? Um, see, I'm just going to see if I can add it through here. See if it's come up now. I don't think it has. Oh, if not, I'll put it. Oh, is that it? No. Um, cool. Dreams of cheese it says, "Isn't FNAF dead?" But no. you you say that, but I mean, within I think it was fourteen days, five point four million people watched the real Bonnie versus Kids. Yeah. So I kind of, I don't think I don't think so. Plus, there's the new game come out, isn't it? FNAF yeah. Six, and there's even talk about a FNAF Seven. I think FNAF has become so ingrained in people. I don't think it's going to die now. No. Is that Pac Man? Yeah, I think it is going to. It's like that now. Uh, let me go. So let me go back and see if I can put that back on the screen so you guys can see it again. Oh, let's see if I can. Can you see it now? Yeah. Fred Double One Double One, make you should make a short film with all your bubblegum monsters. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Could be a bit like um, uh, Toy Story, wouldn't it? With all the different yeah characters. I think that's as big as I can get it. For some reason, I can't. Yeah, I can't seem to get rid of that one. I can't drag that one off. Um, so what what we could do is we can just adjust the light a bit. Oh, also he needs a shadow. So let me just um, let me just do that. So if I go back here, and I'm just going to add uh, just a very simple plane. If I can do that, if my let me do that. Should do. Here we go. And then what you do is you add this special thing which is called a shadow catcher, which basically kind of makes the object invisible, but allows you to make cut like you can still cast shadows on it. Um, if I can find it, shadow map. There we go. So now if I go back to that one, it still doesn't show. It. <laughs> that should be showing a shadow, but it might just be it needs updating. So let me just, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can sort of see a shadow on his feet now. He is really scary. He's much scarier than the actual cartoon version there. Um, and the other thing I can do is things like adjust the amount of light. So I could make the light a bit brighter, which might help as well. Let's just do that. Um, it was quite a bright. So it'll take a little while because it's having to work with it. There you go, he's a little bit yeah, brighter now. That bloke actually does look like he's looking at him, doesn't he? Yeah. The one on the left. So sorry it's not very big on your screens, but hopefully it gives you an idea kind of uh, what it'd look like. But you'd, you never know because this could end up a, a real FNAF FNAF. 
And we're from FNAF, yeah. Yeah. Especially if we carry on making the whole band members and then we just Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe we do a little an a little leather. Maybe we'll do a little anime. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we we'll do a little, little animation. Or maybe I'll just oh, go dear. to speech there. Yeah. Do that instead. Um so that's kind of it. Uh, I guess I could always just um it's very confusing when you've got these two screens. But I guess I could always just zoom in on that one just so you can see a bit closer on it. Looks really evil. Yeah, it looks the evil, doesn't it? Yeah. That looks really good actually though. But yeah, it sort of yeah, looks, looks like, like you can see the reflection on the top of the guitar. Yeah, if I zoom it's... right in on his eye. Oh, you can actually see the Falcon Square in yeah. the reflection. I am watching you. That's the um, uh, National Portrait Gallery. Is it? Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Are you just going to repeat everything I say? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, there we go. All right. I, I think. Uh, what was interesting about that was it. It was the um, insight it's not because a lot of people go oh you just photoshopped him in yeah but there's so much more to it yeah no it and it's not just photoshopped it was, I mean even those even though um, they're quite quick to do with the characters we've already made it's just setting it up getting the scene in the right place and everything overall it probably takes about an hour and a half two hours to yeah. do one, just one of those steals so it's not it's not as simple as saying oh, right, oh you just photoshop it you know you just cut it out and suck it in something else um, so because so all that data which is captured and all the rest of it you apply all that as well and like you say that's how you get the reflections and things there's so much more to it but we thought that'd just be a, a nice sort of insight behind yeah. the scenes of how it actually comes to to, to do one and um, maybe we'll maybe do another one uh, well, well that, not now but next time yeah um, oh uh, Bonnie Snout should be light blue um, you're right yeah we sorry I didn't know it, 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 I was rushed. Actually, that's, right. that's a good point, though. That is one thing that I forgot to do because um, it's not individually textured, but the the nose shouldn't be white. <laughs> oh yes, you know what I mean. It, yeah. It's still it's is just a at the moment. It was a demo, yeah, yeah, d d thing. It's not a, 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 a real attempt at it. No, but you're right. Yeah. Um, Right. Uh, did you want to do? Did you want to show off your um, your shop? No, I think we'll leave that for, for the the. the uh, yeah, we just we we'll, we'll just close out. Okay. Um. So yes, guys. Uh, Rebecca's been. I know she's been putting the, the uh, 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 links in for lots of things, um, and also green eyes was a. a, a, a yeah, I, the, the eyes are straight from the original body. It was, yeah. not, it's not finished. Um, but thank you, Michael. Because Michael, you know, he's obviously well. Uh, well, well, he's, well he's, yes. He's, he's dad. Uh, Made it. Um, um, when did I lie, says Rebecca? Uh, what was that about? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, 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 it's been a bit distracted. We'll talk later. Oh, okay. Um, Right, well, guys, look, thank you very much for joining us. I'm sorry it's been a bit disjointed today. We had so the, the problem with the power cut before we even started, and then we had the data dropping out and the stream dropping out halfway through. Um, but for those who stuck with it, thank you very much. Yes. Um, that's it, isn't it? I think in terms of um, films, short films and stuff coming up, they are coming up. It's just like I said earlier. It's I'm so busy at the moment. I just haven't had time to to get. It. There are actually I'm working on one right now. Well, not right now, obviously, but like it, in the spare time I get for a busy day, I'm sort of doing bits and pieces, which hopefully will be in the next few weeks. But I can't. I just can't give a time or a date at the moment. So the next definite thing. Well, I guess the next definite thing is next Monday, isn't it? Next Monday. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That would be the next live making a bubblegum monster and the vote will be open shortly rockstar freddy smog jonathan sexton Azrael, and orville the elephant yeah so remember if you want to get yourself on the banner like celeste has just got um then you have to be in it to win it so you have to 
join us on our live streams and play the game play the family fortunes game yes and that's it that's it for now isn't it it is yeah. cheers guys Ta-da. have a good week bye bye the vote for the next live making a bubblegum monster is now open our next live making a bubblegum monster will be on the 5th of March at 6pm GMT remember to check out the community tab where you get the latest news and where you can also cast your votes for the making of a bubblegum monster or the bubblegum gallery. If you enjoy our channel and you want to become a bubblegummy, remember, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of our community posts and our new releases, click the notification bell. Thanks bubblegummies and we look forward to catching up with you next week.